Hello everybody and welcome back. So I know it's been a while since we've brought anything to you, but hopefully you'll enjoy the one we have for you today. Uh, just want to say thank you very much to all our subscribers for all the feedback and the likes and uh, keep them coming please. Um, we will try to work on doing some additional videos and hopefully we won't have such a large gap in the middle. We've just been really, really busy and want to say again to all of our customers, thank you very much for the support and sending us the work that you have. Uh, one of our busiest years so far, hence one of the reasons we haven't been doing a lot of filming. And um, let's uh, see if we can't uh, pick this back up and uh, bring some good stuff to you, okay? So what we're gonna bring you today is another porting video, but a little different than the last one we showed you when we did the demonstration of our CNC runner porting. And the significance of this one is a little bit relevant to the intake manifolds that are becoming available on the market today. So I know there's um, a few brands that have been out for a while, like the Excessive Manifold and the Pro-J Manifold. I think Elite, possibly TurboSource, maybe of another uh, Australian or New Zealand manufacturer are now coming to the table with two rotor and three rotor uh, side port intake manifolds. Uh, some of them are available in semi-P, uh, but whether you're doing semi-P or not, when you're using an FD engine for the basis of a three rotor or four rotor, or just a two rotor application, or just doing regular side port or bridge port without semi-P, this is a fantastic service that we have because the alternative is you take your FD iron and you want to make your runner to fit one of these later manifolds that has the Cosmos shaped ports or size ports. So this one here is your stock FD metal gasket, which we have our CNC runner program for those who are going to use a stock intake manifold or an aftermarket intake that keeps the FD size ports. Obviously, everyone has the availability to port them a little bit larger. And of course, like our last video showed you, we have the CNC program to make the FD ports larger. But more than just making things larger, I wanna emphasize on something that's really important, especially in the racing industry. Making the rotors flow the same. On a two rotor, front and back, on a three rotor, all three and a four rotor, you want to make sure that you're flowing the same. And it's a very difficult task to accomplish, even if you're keeping the port stock size, to try to open up the runners and port your main port the same size, just using a manual template, scribing, and then sort of just holding the gasket here and scribing a gasket mark you can get the entrance shape pretty close by hand, but the runner is nearly impossible. And I've been porting for almost 25 years by hand, and I'm an expert at this. I can port any engine to any specification by hand, but I gotta tell you, nothing beats the machine. You'll never get the accuracy that you will with the machine. And the most important thing again is by the time you're done, all rotors flow the same. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you a program that converts the FD irons into Cosmos ports. Okay, so you're going from this to this. And that's a pretty big difference. Now we'll zoom in on this in a bit so you can see actual uh, difference closer. And when we're done the machine work, we're gonna show you the final product and even better, when we do the primary ports on the center iron, we're only gonna machine one port so you can see the difference before and after side by side, okay? So let's uh, maybe uh, have a, a closer look at this. I'm gonna set up so we can zoom in the camera and you can see exactly what we're trying to accomplish here, okay? So this is a good demonstration of what we're trying to do here. Again, I'll move the FD port a little closer to the Cosmos port. This is a factory Mazda 20B gasket. This is a factory 13B gasket. So again, you can see the difference in shape here. So if I just draw this out and trace this FT port like this, and then show you guys what we're doing here. 
What the machine does actually is it goes up a little bit but mainly comes down and you can see it's a little bit wider but substantially deeper especially when you're hogging out that material all the way down the bottom of the runner. There's a ton of material that comes out that opens up this cross-sectional area. Huge. Same thing with the primary. I'll draw this out here. Now these FD uh, gaskets are a little bit wider from the factory, but let's just draw that out and then look at the difference here. Look at that. It's substantially taller and it goes up higher, a little bit to the top, mainly on the bottom. So there's your difference. That's a good 30% increase on both of these. So this is one of the reasons why some of the manufacturers are building these manifolds to flow to match the Cosmos port shape. So again, taking this Cosmos gasket and putting it on the FD port, and again, remember, this one here has been already machined to our FD CNC uh, runner. But if I mark that out there, a little tough to see from where, uh, from your angle, but if I look at the amount of material that someone would have to take up by hand, and I've done this before several times, this is what we used to do to do this conversion. But again, with the availability to better manifolds and a larger selection of manifolds, uh, this is becoming a much more popular thing that you have to do when you purchase one of these manifolds. So again, if you want perfect flow and you want the machine to do all this hard work here, this is uh, the whole purpose of offering this service. And just to give you an idea, when we used to do these by hand, I'll show you on the primary again here how much that is. So there's the stock port. That goes down like this. It's a tremendous amount of material and a lot of work you can slip with your die grinder. You're going to have a tough time getting that perfect shape. Again, the entrance and tracing out the gasket shape on the iron and getting that gasket shape with a steady hand and patience, you'll do okay. But the main thing is there is so much material in the bottom of this port that has to get transitioned out and blended to the bottom side of the intake port. It's a lot of work. It can be painstaking and frustrating and people can make mistakes and you still will never end up with an engine that flows as well as one that's done on a CNC machine. So we will tell you a little bit more about how you get uh, your pieces to us if you're interested in this service. And always email please for inquiries. I always say to uh, our audience, we apologize that we don't always get back to people who leave messages on YouTube, but if you really want a quick response, please send us an email. It's the best way to get through to us. And again, apologies for any of you who have left messages on YouTube who have not got a response. We're busy, we're not ignoring you. Send us an email. We have information sheets we can email to you on how to package up your irons, your rotor housings, any services you want from us, we've got instructions on how to get it here. It's not near as expensive as you think, even if it's out of country. The United States is one of our biggest customers. So we've got all the information for this. So let's go over to the CNC machine now and cut a couple of ports and see how you can get your engine to go from this to this. We'll see you soon. Okay, so now we're at the CNC machine, ready to load uh, one or two uh, pieces. What we're gonna do first, is we're going to take our brand new rear FD iron, mount it on the machine, set up, run that Cosmos port, and then after we're going to load the center housing and we're going to do one side of the primary port so that way you guys can see the comparison before and after. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take this new FD iron and mount it to this very special and customized jig that we built for side porting application only. We're gonna lock this thing down. Now the key with Mazda and their intake ports is they are never, all, they're not always putting the primary ports in the same position. Even though the gasket lines up and the intake ports are relatively in line with the intake manifold. 
there is some discrepancies with the porting and that's again one of the other things that we're fixing by offering CNC porting not just for these longer Cosmos ports in this application but in general whenever we're doing CNC runners the goal is to make the front and the back rotor flow exactly the same and in the case of a three rotor obviously all three pieces uh, all three rotors will get the same amount of airflow. Now that can vary based on the, uh, depending on the intake manifold you use because intake manifolds aren't perfect either. But as I said in the intro, when, they're, uh, when you're working with different um, uh, aftermarket manifolds, uh, some of those guys have gone to the distance to make their manifolds flow equally much like what we're trying to do here so when you get a engine that has CNC runners CNC intake ports and CNC uh, pardon me and custom intake manifold then you have the best chance of all uh, both or three or four rotors flowing the same so um, we're going to go ahead and load our tool in a minute here and then we're going to start cutting and then we'll show you the uh, before and after soon. We'll see you then. Okay, so what I did before is I just took the 3D probe and found the center of the factory port. We're all lined up on the XY axis here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this uh, port with this special tool. And here we go. Okay, so that one is done, and wow, never gets any better. It's uh, beautiful, it's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna vacuum this out, remove this plate, and then we're gonna move on to one side of the primary, and then we'll meet you back in the other room and show you everything. Okay, so now we have our center FD, brand new housing, mounted on the jig. Same thing, if I didn't stress the importance before, I'll stress it again we have to dial in the factory port on the 3D probe because if we just built a generic program to run on all ports, we'd have ports that go in the wrong spot all over the place. Mazda castings are not consistent. Consistent enough for a gasket, consistent enough for a factory intake manifold, and close enough where even if there's some misalignment, it is not uh, critical when you're doing stock application stuff. But when we're doing the kind of stuff that we're doing like this for a reason, we have to get this bang on the money. And that is why we have to pick up on the factory port right smack in the middle and set it, which is what we just did here. Okay, so now we're dialed in, ready to cut this piece. We'll film the cutting, and then we'll see you back in the other room. Okay, here we go. We're gonna run this right side port only and show you the difference between the two when we're done. And then obviously later on, we'll come back and we'll cut this, uh, this opposite port. All right, so we're back from the machine. Now we're gonna show you our final product. Okay, so what I've done, just because we can get the two pieces tighter together when we show you a front versus a rear, this would be the CNC runner of an FD port. That is the final finish for our monster-sized Cosmos port 
And again, it's perfect in shape. It will match the other Cosmos front 100%. These rotors will both flow the same. Now check out the primary. Look at how much larger that port is than the factory port. That is actually more than a 30% uh, cross-section increase. That is probably more like a 40 to 42 percent increase. This is a massive amount of material that's been taken out. I'm not sure if you guys could really see it on the machine because the, we, we ran it in fast motion just to, to show you the entire thing, but there's chips flying all over the place and you can hear the cutter making these gnarly cuts and taking out all kinds of material and that's what you get for a difference there. So if you can only imagine when you have an aftermarket manifold that's designed for equal flow combined with CNC runners and CNC ports. You can't beat it. It's the best package available. So unfortunately, again, this service will only work for people who have third generation FD irons. We do not have the availability to bring this to T2 or any other blocks and the simple reason is there's not enough material we'd bust through into the water jacket if we took this kind of material out on a t2 and no one's making a manifold for that anyway but the third generation uh, stuff is uh, what's available two three four rotor typically when people stretch their engines and add rotors they will always use the fd irons or the latest and greatest they flow the best from the factory they have the most meat to do this kind of machine work so that's why we did it and this is not a brand new service. We've actually had this for quite some time. And we've got a lot of happy customers. These new irons are actually for a customer. These are a customer's parts. And he's had us also do the CNC porting on his rotor housings. Then we're doing our studding service on his block. So again, uh, if you're interested in having us do any work for you, send us an email, please, and we will send you the proper instructions based on where you live as to how to most efficiently and effectively get the parts to us. We'll even tell you how to pack them based on what you're shipping. We have different packing instructions based on the volume and the complexity of your shipment. And we'll tell you which freight companies to use and which ones to avoid. It's not as expensive as you think. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hope to hear from you real soon and we'll bring you something as soon as possible. See you next time.